so I could make, so I could maintain the white, keep the white paper where the lights are. Anybody have any questions? Uh, okay, great. Oh, excuse me. Um, I haven't done watercolor, but once you put the paint on I mean. and you decided you wanted white in that spot, are you able to get it off? Or does it... I'm sorry, say again. Are you, are you able to get that color It depends off? on what color it is. Okay. There are some colors that you can take off 100%. So when you blue even one of them, even when it's dry, you can, you can take off 100% of the without a problem. But then a color like they all blue can't come off until you're stuck with it. So just try not to make a mistake where you um, where you put a color that stains the paper. Not all colors stain the paper. That. That's great. And then the smaller shadows through here. Um, I guess all this this whole side of the, the whole side of the boxes here. So let's do that. So once again, as I said before, you can see, for instance, here, the, I didn't want to go over that. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll since it's wet now, I'll I'll just see white back right there because I know that color, that particular combination of colors would come off the paper. <clears throat> yeah. Here. Right. And then just another shadow down here on the side of the here. This there. This right here. So you see that in this one step, what what has been achieved, right? And mm -hmm. um, the, the whole design and pattern of the of the composition is also shown in this first step. And with that, you know, you know, you get a good idea of or you definitely know where your light source is coming from. Just put these in there. Now naturally I'm not working as carefully as I would, you know, on a painting that I would be working on at home. Have the uh, option of time, but you know it's it's good to not have some time sometimes because then you you're forced to you're forced to do it quickly and and you don't have time to belabor over things and sometimes that's kind of nicer than you know something that's too fussy. Is that so? There's that first step pretty much. So, so from there, I'm just going to, go, going to go back to the beginning again. There's another shadow here. Two here. Up and over here. This is not done. This is over here. Like that. The shadow here. Right, right along those boxes. <coughs> On the side of all these shadows again. Yeah. <clears throat> there. So, like I said before, once I finish the first step, I go back to the beginning and I'll start and I'll start to oh, uh, uh, paint now darker, somewhat denser colors, right? Denser colors meaning, well, dark, right? Dark. Now, this is pretty much almost dry by now, so um, it's almost dry. So it probably, probably is dry. So I don't have to worry about, about it bleeding or running anymore now because, because I didn't wet the paper when I started. The paint that I put on the paper I was put on directly on the dry paper, which is, a, by the way, an Arches watercolor block of uh, it's a it's a um, it's a 
it's a, it's a 14 by 20 inch watercolor block of 140 pound paper. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that the weight you prefer? That's the choice. Uh, I like I like the I like three hundred pound paper and I like this is a this is a good all around paper to use really for most anything but three hundred pound is a, a really great surface it takes it takes a heck of a lot of abuse you can do so much with it I like that you can't do a lot with this you can um, <clears throat> but um, um, but this is a nice type of work on. They sell it by the 25 by 40 inch sheets, and they also sell it in 40 by 60 inch, believe it or not. A lot of people don't realize that. You can buy free large sheets of watercolor paper, and they also sell rolls of watercolor paper, too. <clears throat> Did it get hot in here, or is it just me? It's probably just me. Sweating like a mansion. I love the Banshee Sweat. <laughs> but if Banshee Sweat, uh, that would be me. I wouldn't be offended if it took a show. Ah, uh, <laughs> no. I'm wearing a t-shirt. This is how it hears. I got my video camera here. This will be on YouTube tonight. I got a video camera and I got a pry tripod also. You want me to set that up? I, I really want to try. Yeah, sure. You try. This is the video camera. I mean, I have to set up just a tripod. Try to put it like maybe over here. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks. <clears throat> Let's see. So, um, I'm taking quite carefully here. Right, because well, because that has to be that's the way it's got to be done, right? Now this is actually an area under the awning. Part of, it's part of the awning. It's the under, other side of the other side of the awning. So I'll put that in nice and dark. Is that a good tripod? It came free with something like what? Good job. I didn't know how to delete whatever images are on the chip in that camera. And you could figure it out, delete them, because I don't need them. Right? I just couldn't figure it out. And there was someone who used to come to class, and he had that camera, and he videotaped everything in class, and it looked pretty easy to use, but I never liked it. I never, knew, I never figured out how to use it really to the best of its capabilities or not. I hate when that happens. I hate having something I don't understand. I hate not being able to understand. I want to understand. I want to do what love is. I'm going to start singing. Like, I, did, I did just start singing, didn't I? Yeah. But I stopped very quickly, if you notice. So there, see, that's, that's part of the market. Right? Now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to keep coming back here. <clears throat> I don't want to do, you know, I'm not going to do all at once. It's watercolor is a, is a buildup of, of layers. Again, I don't have the option to build up too many layers here, but I have enough time to, to get the idea of this across anyway. Right? <clears throat> Gray here. This is actually part of the building now. That's what it's your old neighborhood? No, no. This is a uh, a market along Ninth Avenue mm -hmm. and um, maybe Thirty Fourth Street or something. It's a. Uh, it's one of the. It's taken from a, a reference of a, that I had taken a long time ago, because these markets are very quickly diminishing. Um, if they did, they're dying away. You really don't see them the way they used to. <clears throat> I guess the uh, big supermarkets have started to take over. You know. And so these these beautiful corner markets are probably are, are going to all be gone sooner or later. Um, put another layer on the shadow here, right? And each time you put a layer of of, of, of a value, 
Each time you get a little darker, it, it makes the lights look even lighter, right? I'm mostly using the two, two, two the, the predominant colors that I'm using here are the ultramarine blue and the and the uh, uh, bird sienna. And because it, it makes, a, I believe it or not, it makes a, 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 a wide variety of grays, depending on if there's more blue in the mixture than there is bird sienna. Well, that will determine how, how gray or brownish gray that the mixture will be. It's the street. So, yeah. Here. Let's see what that looks like. Do that. Oh, yeah, I kind of like that. A little bit in. That, that's going to get way darker than it's still as this goes on. Actually, windows here, but I'll just leave it in. All right, um, let's sit there a minute. Fix this up a little bit here. Shut it there, shut it over here, shut it over here. Shut it over here. put some more here now. The sidewalk is the sidewalk where that ends. Boxes go around the boxes. Bring the gray. Out. Wait, did anybody have any questions? Somebody already did ask a question, right? Did I answer? Um, yeah, I think you did. Yeah, anybody got any questions? When you're using a different shades, types of gray. Is it to separate the grays? Because you're, you're using so much gray. Yeah. If it's not just value, it's hard to f see what you're doing after a while. So is that another reason? What's that? Yeah, like different types of gray, like cooler. Well, warmer. you know what? Just to, to, to just just make it interesting. Keep, yeah, just to make it more interesting. Right. Right. Rather than to just have, you know, one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to make it more interesting. In, in hopes of making it more interesting. Hoping it's more interesting. Is this is this sound all interesting? Yeah. yeah. Not, I'm going home. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so do you usually paint on easel straight up like that? I'm sorry? Do I generally? Yeah. I do not. No, generally I, I, um, I'm working on a fairly flat surface. It's not dripping. No. It's not dripping. No. Why? Well, because I'm, I'm, <laughs> because you're <laughs> not. Yeah, I'm sure heard that, right? <laughs> well, when you say something really great about me, you have to speak it up. <laughs> you can't just say it's only I can hear <laughs> When you originally drew it, did you just use pencil? Yeah. So it, it's not going to be just grays now. Yeah, there's co there colors are going to be introduced in a little while. I'm just laying down these, you know, these uh, these these values here now to, to get this out of the way, so to speak. Yeah. Anybody have any questions? Um, you, you'll just add a little color towards after you get your values. I love questions. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's right. After I get these, after I. After I get tired of, of painting these uh, shadows and, and darks and whatever, um, I'll start glazing in some colors, yeah. Not after I get tired of this, after I, um, yeah, I guess after I feel just like, feel like doing something else, you know. <coughs> that. Like I said, I don't want to be too uh, like overly overly detailed, if, if I can say. Maybe I want to try to keep it kind of loose, you know. Can you see? Yeah. Over there, couldn't. Not like I'm full. Oh yeah, you can see now. Watch the whole thing.
I like the subject matter. Yeah, it's um, always been a favorite of mine, New York City street scenes. I've always been partial to this subject. It's, it's like an uh, everyday thing when you're making it. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, it's an everyday uh, location that people would walk by but never, never coming to realize no. the beauty mm -hmm. that, that lies right there on the surface. Right there. I don't even know what some of this is, but some, it doesn't really matter. Right? Yeah. And the brain will fill in the missing parts, you know? Mm -hmm. If I just painted a couple of bricks here, your brain, your mind will see the rest of them somehow, some to some degree. Uh, that's supposed to be that, that's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be light. There's an example of of lifting. Was this because you have accidents here? Um, well, no, because the, the, the library made me sign a form. <laughs> so I'm responsible for yeah. like any little. Yeah, I understand. Um, okay, for the carpet. So it's it's an easy thing. Just yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem. Just you know, no, we're doing that to everyone. Okay, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm single out, you know, because he's know. messy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a woman. <laughs> I know, you've heard about me, right? <laughs> I told you when I was first started doing this, and I, I started doing it um, very early on. I've been demonstrating for a long time. And I had a habit of, um, you know, doing this. And then, and then doing this, you know, <laughs> and back. Um, I'm starting to get around that I did that a lot. Um, and uh, one demonstration I was doing, I think it was for the, I, I don't think they exist anymore, but it was the Saddlebrook Art Association. Everybody in the front row showed up in a raincoat. <laughs> I'm sure they planned it out that way. So I guess I, I took the hand and I, I started, I kind of stopped thinking my <laughs> paint back. That's good to know. I've done the majority of the work here with my <clears throat> round brush, if you've noticed. I you noticed that. All right, all right, let me, let me get. I haven't used any other colors. I'm going to start using a little bit of raw sienna now. <clears throat> a little color, getting a little color in here, starting to get a little color. I want to do that. I want to do that little by little again. Is that? Okay. I want to do all the pieces like set all these crates. Try to keep the different segments kind of separate. Yeah, I don't use white, so I have to be always conscious of painting around the lights <clears throat> because I don't have the option to, to, to stop mixing white with my paint. In oil, that's a different story, of course, but in watercolor painting, I always, always relied on my ability to paint around things. This is still drying now. I think I'll put a little bit of color up in the up in the room here. Why not? Just a little bit of quick dry brush strokes. 
So when you move the brush quickly, you know, you get that nice broken effect. That's the way to, to, to achieve that. It's not necessarily, dry brush isn't necessarily a dry pigment. It just, it's just the movement of the brush, basically, is what gives you the dry brush effect. And when you move the brush rapidly, you get the broken effect like that. Now here, uh, it's kind of a burnt. It's, uh, it's a little bit of burnt sienna with uh, cadmium red. Speaking of which, I think I'll, I think I'll stop putting some of these colors for this for this morning. This one is this color. This one is just a tiny on this thing. You know, these orders always have these beautiful striped warnings that change color. And they always get faded from the all the weathering and all that. And see here's one, yeah. I think a little broken edge there just to keep that edge soft. And then I think I'll just give it a little blot. <clears throat> oh my goodness. It's really strong yellow. Um, you know what? I have it on my brush. I'm going to use it. All right? I'm going to use it just because it's there. Lemon yellow. I wasn't thinking of using lemon yellow. But Yeah. Want this a little bit lighter here? I'm just gonna point that back a little bit. That back. Lighter, it comes out, a little bit of water, lighten that up, do this gradation, blending that there. <clears throat> okay, come back into the dark again here, get these boxes in, crates, I should say. This is the dark again. Get darker again. The background, we're coming back to the background here again. Another, another value on there. Working around the windows and around those ropes that hold up the, the flags, those plastic flags. It was a good idea when I <clears throat> it was a good idea when I was um, sketching it out. I, th I thought it was a good idea when I was sketching it out. I don't know what I was thinking. <clears throat> Were you this working? Is, um, this is complicated to do this in a short period of time. You know? Did you do it on Just location or from photograph? No, no, photograph. No, at home. I went at home. I used to work on location, you know, a long time ago. Um, I kind of like working at home though. It takes a mm -hmm. real special knack to set up. And mm -hmm. Especially in New York, people walking by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people do it really well. Actually, Mike here, Mike Rona here, he, he works outdoors a lot. And um, mm -hmm. in New York City, mm -hmm. in a suit and tie. Really? He goes to work, right? I, I have, yes. Yeah. It's not ideal. Goes to work after that. Or to the gym. Or both. I don't know. You, you work out, right? 
Yeah, not in the city though. Wow. Oh. So, yeah, before work. Yeah, yeah I work out. <laughs> so, can, you can you take your shirt off? Uh, no, no. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> It's coming along, though, isn't it, though? You see it, well, you see it happening, right? Yes. Yeah, like I said, um, I just want to get the, uh, the essence of, of, of what this is, this idea of this painting process is all about. Are the colors on your palette now the typical colors you work with, or? The, uh, I mean, you mean the color, what do you mean? Like the color, the, <clears throat> your palette. If yeah. you have a different subject matter, will uh, you change the palette? Oh, no, I it's the same palette of colors, hmm. yeah. I mean, there may be times where I'll, I'll, I'll bring in a, a guest color, for, you know, for something, but for the most part, this is it. These are the, these are the colors I use. And, and I force myself to mix colors, you know, in a, in a, in a let's say I'm working on a, from a reference, source of reference, and I come across, you know, a color that I know I can squeeze out of a tube of paint. I force myself to mix, the, mix those, mix that color with some combination of these colors. And I, I, I pretty much do. I, I usually do get what I'm, what I'm looking for. I don't have to, usually I don't have to resort to, to two color greens or grays or whatever. I can usually get all that from these colors. This is a, really an ideal palette, I feel, for, for just about anything. I mean, for me, anyway. Everyone's different, though. You know, everyone has their own. Is that my phone doing that? No, it's my coach. Uh -uh. Yeah, boxing coach. <laughs> boxing coach. <That's> <clears throat> I don't play really box. I mean, I hit the speed bag and then I squaw with the coach. That's kind of it's boxy. Right? I got gloves in it. You should see me hit the speed bag. I'm oh, really good at it. You know what I noticed? I swear, I'm the only one in the gym. I'm the only one in the gym who can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I see all these other guys come in, and why they're powerhouses. You got to see them hit when they're sparring with the, the coach. I don't know how he's taking. Yeah, you know, he's got the pads on his hands, and from the sound of them hitting those pads, man, I don't know how he takes it. And then they go to the speed bag, and they're like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not doing this, and I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not so, <laughs> that's my boy. See, you can teach him to not lie, and even joking around, he can't do it. So there you go. That's that's what I like. Now I'm just putting a little bit of this color here. I need to get him to here again. I mean, plenty of time. Yeah. What am I talking about? Look at that. <coughs> 
I got plenty of time, don't I? All right. Come on, here again. A little darker again over here. Let's see how I can work around these. This awning, the bars of the awning. The first coat that I laid down will be the color of what they're, they're going to remain to be. That be fast. Yeah, I was going to do a snow scene, you know. Oh, this is nice. And it'd have been done by now, you know. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, oh, oh, what a paper. I hope you do, you know. <coughs> But no, I have to do the market scene. I'm going to get it done, though. I'm going to force it done. Give me the frame. It looks good in frame. Paintings, though, they look better like a few days after you paint them. After all of the water has dried out of the, of the paper. Um, I believe that the, the colors look stronger, more vibrant when the water the water dries out of the paper completely. Around there. There. Here. See, this color wasn't supposed to be there, remember? Again, after that dries, I'm going to go over that one more time and get some of that activity out of there. Like that, like that, like that so far. All right? People sometimes are afraid of watercolors, thinking that you know they are impossible to work with because because as someone had asked before about once you put a color down is that the end of it and uh, we know now it's it's not it all depends on what that color is and if the color is a color that will stain the paper. Obviously, you're going to have a, a, a hard time getting it off. In fact, you, you, well, you won't be getting it off. But there are other colors, and the majority of colors will come off to a certain degree. So the myth about watercolors being so unforgiving and all <clears throat> is not true. <clears throat> the only thing that is really unforgiving is my, with my second wife. She was unforgiving. She couldn't forgive. She couldn't forget. Sorry. I, uh, trans for, I, trans I transgressed. Was that transgression? Was that, was that an example of transgression? Digress. Digression. It's an SAT word. Is it? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good though. Yeah. Right. You see it's taking place, see how it's, it's continuing to take shape and how they, um, you know, it's Some okay. Huh? Kind of like a little bit more dogs over here. Kind of a nice spot of color here, right? Yeah. I see the dog here. That's got to be the dog there. Did you change the colors on the original? Um, from of that? Yeah. Did I change? Yeah. No, no, from the oh. original scene. 
Um, you mean from the actual reference? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not, yeah, I'm not, you know, when I work from a source of reference, sometimes I follow it close, more closely than others. I mean, during the course of the, the, the painting itself, from the start to finish, there are times where I'm following the reference closely, but then there are times where I'm just making up, making up from, you know, you know, changing things, I should say, right? Because I'm, you know, the source of reference isn't a hundred percent of what I'm looking for, right? That the statement that I want to make isn't always all wrapped up in the, in the reference. Really dark on me here. I don't know why. Playing with it. Shadow. And this got to be dark in here still. So you can see how it's again. It's a it's a building up of layers of color, allowing the last layer of color to dry before you put another layer over the last layer. And that's the whole idea behind glazing, watercolor glazing. This. Like I said before, I'm not taking a, a whole lot of care to to get every little detail and all, you know. Um, I just want to... <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm just, I'm just not here. I, uh, I just, again, I just want to get the, the give you the impression of, of, um, of this whole thing. And I want to come away having shown you a different method of working in watercolor, one that isn't widely used. Mm -hmm. Another thing is uh, the changing of the consistencies of paint is also another important aspect of, of painting. There are times where you want very loose, fluid, watery paints, and other times you don't. So. Well, that's the importance behind having two consistency colors to work with. Because then you have right at your disposal at all times, you can you can make mixtures of colors that are that are very fluid and yet at the same time, well by just cutting back on the water, you have you have colors that are very dense. So, uh, um, like I said before, I've, I've relied pretty heavily on the White Sienna Ultramarine Blue to make a lot of my grays. <clears throat> I'll put really dark accents sometimes where I just feel to try to create a little bit more depth inside there really dark tone. Yeah. You know.
when you work at home, how many hours do you, you give yourself like two hours and take a break? And... To, do, to, to do this? Yeah. Oh, God, it'd probably take me a month. Yeah, I yeah, need to take a break. I'm yeah, home see. and, you know, and working and, you know, I have too many details. And I'm not saying maybe I'm exaggerating. It would take a month. I could probably, I could probably do it in a couple of days, maybe, you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's not, that's not eight hour days, right? Right. Because I'm not working that, that I wish I was. I, I'm, I'm hoping to get to that point where I'm, you know, working all the days. Um, but right now, I'm just, I'm just not able to. So little by little, though, I'll get, to, uh, get back to that. I'll take what I get, you know. I'm uh, not getting too dark here. No. Just a few accents, a few accents of dogs like that. I mean, I try to limit to three hours, but then I get this, like, fit. Like, I can't breathe right. And yeah, it's just, it's just like, right? I just, like, stop sure. breathing. <laughs> it's so intense. Yeah, you know, you got to remember to breathe. Yeah, I do. Especially with pastels. Yeah. <laughs> they were mad. All that dust comes right into your lungs. Yeah, they were mad. I don't like pastels. They're too dirty. Well, I used to use them all the time. Huh? I used them all the time at one time. Yeah. Now I don't touch them. Hi, how did you get the article in American Artists? That's really, that's really nice. Oh, you know what happened? I had, I had submitted work for some ex some uh, <coughs> online competition that the American Artist ma magazine was running. Oh. Right? <laughs> And I didn't, I didn't win. I didn't get in. I didn't whatever, you know. What I did get was a letter from Stephen Doherty, the editor of the magazine. And that was the coolest thing in the world to get the letter. And he wrote to me, you know, um, that while I was my work was not accepted into the online exhibition or whatever competition, whatever it was. I think it was a trip to paint outdoors or something mm -hmm. someplace. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't get it because, well, because why would I submit work to a competition to win something to paint outdoors when I don't paint outdoors? <laughs> but so anyway, uh, I was kind of relieved that I didn't win. That's what he said. He liked my work so much and he, he asked me if, he, if I was interested in, in having an article. And uh, oh, I had to think like real long. <laughs> you know, here, here I was being invited by the editor of what was at the time, I guess, America's, you know, uh, foremost art magazine, right? I mean, everybody, yeah. everybody knew the American Artist magazine, right? Yeah. And Stephen Doherty, seems as though he was the, at the editor for, for decades, I don't know, a long time. And I had gotten friendly with him there for a while. Uh, phone interviews and whatever is how he got the information uh, that he wrote the article, you know, ultimately. Um, and so that's how it happened. That's it happened great. from me entering uh, an online competition yeah. that I didn't win, but that then he, like I said, wrote to me. And it's even better. It did even better. And you know what's interesting is I never saw the results mm -hmm. of that competition. I never uh, saw. They it. never had them. Um, um, maybe they, they, maybe they just maybe nobody did. It. I don't know because I never saw. Somebody the had to win. What was that? They didn't publish the winners in the magazine. I never saw it. No. Um, I just want to do something here. I want to scratch some of this out of here. 
Uh, so this is another technique that one can use, basically. It's just when you do this, you pretty much can't put anything else there. Can you wet it and just it's dry. dab it off? The paper is dry here. I just wanted to get some of that color off of it. I, I smeared it before more so than I wanted to. That's charcoal. What's that? What is that? Charcoal? No. No charcoal? Yeah. yeah, no, it's a knife. It's a charcoal. Yeah, yeah, really. What are you saying? Does that just take a little color off? I'll just take a little color off, is what I'm doing, yeah. But it's really Well, yeah, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's not ruining the paper, no. No, by all means, it's not ruining the paper. I'm not planning to put anything else there anyway. So. What are you using? Oh, you're using a razor blade. Yeah, razor blade. So there's that. Here's, there's this thing here. Now you never know. You, you, you do one thing and something else comes out of it. Yeah, you know what? That's the thing about painting. You know, you gotta take, you gotta take chances and you gotta do things and just. I mean, what's what are you gonna lose? A piece of paper. You know? it's, this flag, this is a flag out here. It's a, it's a tattered flag. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's kind of interesting. Kind of affected. I don't know if anybody can see it. It's like it's, it's, like it's snowing in here. Yeah. <laughs> the paper, um, um, oh, it's down onto here. I'm going to leave that there for now. Only because that's wet. And if I mess with it, it's not going to do it. Let me come over here and um, sharpen up some of this. This is darker. and the dogs get the light and the lights It's all about the contrast. Yeah, you can, but you can just get just so dark at one point, you know, you don't want to totally obliterate everything in, in, in the darkness. I mean, you need some light. I mean, you need to save the lights and So that it's not just white, white paper. A little bit of something like that. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you what color. <laughs> it just does. Just gets a little bit of something. Dirty it up. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. We just um, reevaluate some of that. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to take this and dry it so that I could put, put it in the frame. I have a frame waiting for this to go in. What else can I do? I don't have to do much else, right? <coughs> There's tons that I could could do, but um, I, uh, I think I'm gonna let me dry it. Let me dry it. Let me dry it. So you can talk amongst yourselves if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plug right here. I could use right. Yeah, I'll it. 
I guess I'll I guess the tuxedo station is a long way to the throat, but I'll get into it that way. Just paint the whole thing black and white first, see what happens. I look at it's dark on one side. Mm-hmm. <coughs> it's real dark. Mm-hmm. 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 This whole thing without telling any jokes at all. Not a single joke. You good, right? Because my jokes are always funny. Um. Jokes I'm told. It's all like that. My wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good. Yeah. She doesn't think I'm very funny. <laughs> I'm the first. You said told me that. I'm, I am the funniest in the house. Oh, you are? Oh, how do you know that? Who's the funniest in the house? Oh, right, I'm the smartest one. That's mama, right? No, no. She's, I'm going to be oh, the something with the house. What? I'm going to be the something with the house. That's exactly what I am. The oldest person in the house. Well, it's true, so. See when you breathe the hanging up? Let's do let's see what this looks like. Huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. I have this um brain of this device, this way of putting it in here we go. It's supposed to fit every time. Huh? It doesn't always do, huh? No, it always does. It always fits. <clears throat> it always fits. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's a, it's a great idea. Hey, look at that. The lights. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how you can tell them really good. Put this over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I was the funniest one in the house until you came in. <laughs> you know what? You're the cutest one. The most special. And I mean, special. So, anyway, there it is. Thanks. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. The amount of time that we had uh, was an hour, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, can I take a picture? As fast as it was, yeah, sure, absolutely. For as fast as, as, um, for, for 60 minutes, I mean, you know. There aren't many art mediums that you can use or utilize that would yield uh, so much in so little bit of time, right? Yeah. And it's not because I'm so great and everything like that. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's, it's, all about, it's all about the medium. Though. The medium is a special medium. Once you know how to use the, the, the consistencies and, and, and work with the different mixtures and, and keep those keep the palette simple, simplified, you can really do a lot. Goes a little bit goes a long way. So yes, yeah, so there we have it. That was um, my tonal technique, as as um, 
as it. I can you see why it wouldn't work with any ref any subject at all. It's uh, it takes certain subjects only for that this particular technique to work in. Because if uh, you know if you just have like you know uh, some open landscape or big vista or something, um, you know obviously it's not going to work. It just doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't apply, right? You need a building. You need buildings. You need <coughs> shadows, yeah. lights, darks. Yeah, that's yeah. what you need. Yeah, and for that for that it's ideal. I'm going to try it tonight because I have a tape, a black and white of the uh, tuxedo station. Uh huh. But maybe I'll try it that way. Give it a shot, yeah. Uh, Paint in all your shadows first, all your shades like and grays and everything, and then and then just start glazing your colors on top of it. Great, right, thank you. So, uh, so thank you all. Come back in time.